hey what's up guys welcome back now we have done uh, mostly advanced things in python so one thing is still left uh, in advanced python which is errors and exception handling which is uh, the very basic thing which we should know although it is an advanced topic but it is very basic to understand about these things so uh, we will learn about errors and exception handling in python in this video and uh, you have already i, I guess uh, encountered errors by this point um, in all these videos if you have practiced even a little bit so let's say if I, we have a statement like print hello but we don't have this last brace here okay although we are getting compile time error but let's run this code without watching that so you can see syntax error invalid syntax so this is all errors which we need to handle before you know running um to the uh you can say the production application so uh you can note here that we get a syntax error similarly we can have uh, other uh, exception and we have this uh, further description here that it was an uh, end of line error or syntax error while scanning the string literal so this is specific enough for us to see that we forgot a single quote at the uh, end of the line understanding these various error types will help you debug your code much faster so this type of error and description is known as an exception and even if a statement or expression is uh, syntactically correct it may cause an error when an attempt is made to execute it so errors detected during execution are called exceptions and are not unconditionally fatal so uh, you can see the uh, built-in exceptions by visiting the documentation of python so let's talk about uh, how to handle uh, these error and exception in our code so what we can use we can use try and accept so what are these so these are the basic terminology and syntax used to handle errors in python is of try and accept statements so the code which can cause an exception uh, to a queue is put in the try block and uh, the handling of the exception is implemented in the accept block of code so let's if if i i have to give you the syntax of that then it will be like uh, this so you have a try you do the operation here then accept and exception then accept and that another exception and then else so this is how you can also check just check for an exception with just using accept to get a better understanding of all this let's check out an example and we will look at some code that opens and writes a file okay so what we can do let's talk about a file so let's write try okay we have a file f let's call open and let's say test file okay this is the file name and we have this mode which is w which means write write mode okay and we will say f dot write and i'll write test write this so this is how you uh, say this is the file okay and this is how you write to the file so this is uh, put it in the uh, we have put it into the try block now we can say accept what kind of error it can give we need to understand that first okay so we are expecting accepting io error which can occur in file this will only check for an io error exception and then execute this print statement okay which statement i am just gonna write here so let's say print uh, i exception is that uh, error error could not find file or read data okay so this is an io error if there is no such error then there can be some other error which i don't know then i can write it into the else statement print so if there is no error what i will do i will write to the else that content return successfully 
okay so if there is an error then it will be in accept block if it, it is an io error otherwise if there is no error then it will go to the else block that content written is successful now i can close this file okay so this is uh, what would happen if we did not have a uh, right permission opening with r then what's the case okay so let's say we can replace this with r okay now what will happen we will reach to the this io error okay so i i am getting so much noise from the dogs outside so so this is how we will do this try accept thing and uh, let's try to run this once and you can say could not file or read data so we fall into this error let's replace it by w so sorry what just happened is i just closed my file so i have this test.py okay so now again let's run this and this is content written success okay so this is how we will do this now we can uh, also have just said accept if we were not sure what exception would occur like i can leave it like this and this should still work because i even if i don't know that what kind of exception can could be there i don't know that it will be io error i don't know it if it will be arithmetic error or syntax error so i can write like this okay so there is a new thing as well so now we don't actually need to uh, memorize the list of exceptions okay types so now that if we want to keep wanting to run the code after the exception occurred this is where finally comes in let's say if we have saying that r okay now let's run this so you can see that error could not find file or read data now i want it to run even after exception occurs then i can use finally block okay so let's say i can replace this else with finally okay so uh doing next step okay so what's happening here this is the accept block if even if it uh, falls in the accept block it has an exception then also this finally block will be executed let's try to run this code again and you can see error could not file a uh, find file or read data but doing next step okay so it is still doing the next step so that means that we are able to handle errors and exception and we can use the finally block as well to go to the next step if that there is no any exception so this is about errors and exceptions in python i hope that you understood it very well and uh, now there are few things which uh, i haven't covered which are decorators and regular expressions so we will talk about the regular ex uh, expressions in some future videos when we uh, talk about uh, using them in django if we have to use them because in django 2.0 we don't uh, necessarily need, need this regular expression and decorators as well we will see it in django then we can be able to easily understand this actually it uh, we use this by using this uh, at the rate symbol like at the rate func and inside the uh, it it there will be a method so this is how we uh, use it so what are decorators let me just tell you a brief about it so basically decorators can be thought of as a function which modify the functionality of another function okay so they help to make your code shorter and more pythonic you can say so they are also used a lot in python web frameworks which is why we need to learn them uh, like we will use them in django so we will definitely go through it once uh, we, we will fall in such situation so right now uh, we don't actually need it so that's why i'm skipping that and uh, we will move to the django after this and uh, obviously it was a little bit long journey but i hope that uh, it was quite uh, understood because i have taken so many examples we can also make some application after this but uh, let's move to the web application development as fast as we can and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also all please press like button to all the videos so that i can 
get your point that you are actually understanding this and actually liking this so this is all about new python and all django stuff and this is all from python tutorials and we will move to the django uh, in the next video so thanks a lot guys for being with me it was a great 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 time teaching you this python and django and all the html css javascript so um uh, we we are one uh more way to go to complete our web development course so again thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video